G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. It's Jesse here and today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video uh, to what I've normally done in the past. I'm actually going to be using Sporkle. It's a great website used often by Young King Cookson. I should give him a shout out because he started doing these videos first. Uh, but basically I'm going to be doing AFL style quizzes on Sporkle. It looks like the two quizzes that I've chosen to do today for you are actually by the same guy. His name is Pfish23, so I'll give him a shout out as well. Uh, but I tried to pick two quizzes that weren't too straightforward because uh, a lot of the ones like guess all the premiers for the last 20 years feel like I'm pretty good at so I've tried to do a couple of harder ones today the two quizzes in question are gonna be can you match the AFL top four with the correct year so I think there's 15 of those on the screen that I've got to match with the correct year and then following that uh, this one is pretty tough it's can you pick the premiers Brownlow and Coleman medalists for every year since 2000 so that one's tough I'm gonna do that second but uh, first of all let's get into it looks like I have 14 minutes to match the uh, 15 years of top fours with the correct year. I really doubt it's going to take 14 minutes. I think it'll be pretty quick this one, but uh, won't get too cocky. Let's see how we go. Okay, so first up, Port, Brisbane, Adelaide, and Collingwood. Uh, this one, what year was this? Okay, so I'm going to say Port Adelaide winning the minor premiership. I'm pretty sure they won the premiership, uh, minor premiership in 02 and 03 because uh, Brisbane won the flags those years. Um, I'm gonna say 2003 and it was wrong straight off the bat. Oh, great start. I really should have rehearsed this. Okay, 2006 I reckon straight off the bat because my Eagles were first that year and Fremantle came third. That one's simple. Essendon first and Brisbane second followed by Port and Richmond. That was 2001. Hawthorne came first, Adelaide second, Sydney third and Collingwood fourth. Actually that one is tougher. What year was that? It wasn't, I'm thinking of the years that Hawthorne won the three-peat. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't any of those years, was it? Um, so 2012, I reckon, actually, now I think about it, because I'm pretty sure Hawthorne came first in 2013, but Fremantle made the top four that year. And 2014, I'm sure Sydney came first. I'm going to say 12. Yes, that was lucky, that one. All right, so I did mention before, Port Adelaide won the minor premiership in the years where Brisbane won the flag. So I'm going to say that was 02. Oh my God, what was I doing? Press the wrong button. It was 03. That was really dumb. Anyway, uh, Geelong, Port Adelaide, West Coast Kangaroos was definitely 07. I really hope it lets me have another crack at those ones because I, uh, I've just literally pressed the wrong button on that one. St. Kilda first, Geelong second, Bulldogs third. So St. Kilda came first in 09 and 10. I'm going to say this was 09. Hawthorne first and Geelong in the uh, uh, Geelong second and Hawthorne sorry Hawthorne first Geelong second Fremantle third that was the 13 because uh, that was Hawthorne and Fremantle in the grand final Collingwood Geelong Hawthorne West Coast that was 2011 that was the year the Eagles came from Wooden Spooners to finish fourth Port Brisbane St Kilda Geelong I think I hit oh actually what year was this I was 04 surely yes good. Uh, Adelaide, West Coast, Sydney, and St Kilda was 2005. We lost in the last round against Adelaide to uh, to lose top spot. Collingwood first, Geelong, St Kilda, Bulldogs. I'm going to say 2010. Collingwood were the best team by far that year. Uh, Essendon, Carlton, Melbourne, Kangaroos. It was an Essendon-Melbourne grand final in 2000, so that's a safe bet. Sydney came first in 2014, so I'm starting to roll through these. Geelong and Hawthorne, the first two teams in 08. So I think it was just 02 and 03 I got mixed up and uh, I wasn't thinking properly so I'll just cop that as my excuse. So 13 out of 15, I'm actually pretty disappointed with that to be honest. I was pretty cocky going into this. I thought I was going to get them all right, but alas, I'm not perfect. All right, thank you Pfish for that particular quiz. Let's have, uh, yeah, I did that in about what? Yeah, th less than three minutes. So um, I'm a bit of a whiz, yeah, not really. Uh, let's have a look at the second one. This is the harder quiz by far. Um, I did have a brief look at exactly how it works with the format, so we'll open it up. You basically, you just got to pick one from each, and if they're all four are correct, then you get it right. So let's start with 2019 because it's the easiest. So uh, 2019, uh, Richmond obviously won the flag, and the Brownlow medalist was Nat Fife, and Jeremy Cameron won the Coleman, and that's that fourth list over here. So boom. Okay, so I've got it all right, and it's all gone green. Um, and now let's go back to 2018, where West Coast won the flag. 
Tom Mitchell obviously won that, uh, won the Brownlow, and I think, was it Rewalt won the Coleman? So, boom, two from two. 2017 was Richmond again. Dusty won the Brownlow. I think it's still the record for most votes. I'm pretty sure this was the year Josh Kennedy missed five games and was still leading the Coleman, and then the last game of the year, Lance Franklin kicked, was it eight or ten? I can't remember if it was 8 or 10, but he basically won the common in the last round against Carlton. So, Buddy Franklin, boom. All right, this is where it gets tough because I'm pretty good with Premiers and Brownlows. I've pretty much named them all, but uh, the Coleman is where it's going to get me. So, 2016. Oh, this should be easy. I'm pretty sure that Kennedy won the Coleman these years. So, the Bulldogs won that year. Brownlow medalist was Paddy Dangerfield and we'll go Josh J. Kennedy. Boom. 2015, Hawthorne beat my beloved Eagles. 2015, Brownlow was five. And Josh Kennedy again. Okay, now we're really getting into testing territory. 2014, that year, Hawthorne won the flag. They beat Sydney. Matty Prittis won the Brownlow. Oh, did I just press the wrong button? No. Uh, Matty Prittis won the Brownlow. He is there. Coleman's going to be tough. There's a lot of Buddy Franklins on the board. I'm inclined to go in that direction because he Sydney finished first that year. They didn't win the flag, and I got it right, thank goodness. 2013, Hawthorne beat Fremantle in the grand final. The Brownlow medalist was Gary Ablett Jr. from Gold Coast. And the Coleman medal was tough. So we can rule out Matty Lloyd. So you got Buddy Franklin... And Jared Roughhead. I genuinely do not remember Jared Roughhead winning a Coleman medal. Uh, I guess Jack Rewalt could have won it. Um, I'm going to say Lance Franklin again. No, wrong. Who was it? So go back to Hawthorne. Gary Ablett Jr. Was it Roughhead? Hey, it was Roughhead. Okay, there you go. That makes sense. Hawthorne won the flag that year. 2012 was the Sydney with the Premiers. They beat Hawthorne in the grand final. Uh... Dane Swan was 2011, 2012, Brownlow medalist. Was Cochin and Sam Mitchell awarded retrospectively, of course. Uh, ooh, this is a tough one with between Rewalt and Buddy. I'm going to say Buddy. No, it must have been Rewalt. Okay. Sydney. Uh, Jack Rewalt. Okay, sweet. 2011, Geelong upset Collingwood in a grand final. Um, at least I remember it being an upset. Collingwood were really, really good that year. Um, 2011 was Dane Swan. Could Jack Rewalt have won? Did he? No. This is actually quite forgiving. Um, it must have been Buddy Franklin then. This is where it gets tough. Uh, where was I? Dane Swan. And then it must have been uh, Lance Franklin again. Damn, there's a lot of Lance Franklins on the board there. 2010 was Collingwood won the grand final replay after the drawn grand final. Chris Judd surprisingly won the Brownlow that year. Uh, I'm going to say Jack Rewalt again. Yes, I remember Jack Rewalt kicked 10 in 2010 against the Eagles at the G. I remember it being particularly devastating because Richmond were the other terrible team that year and uh, I really didn't want the Eagles to win the spoon. But that was Hardwick's first year from memory and that was the start really building the sort of team that they are today. 2009 uh, was Geelong winning the flag. Bartel was 09, wasn't he? Yeah, that wasn't it. Wasn't 07 that he won, was it? Who else is on the board there? Unless it was Ablett. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm gonna say Ablett actually. Gee, I thought I was good at this, but now I'm starting to doubt myself. Uh, 2009, I'm going to say Buddy Franklin, no, at least I know that one was the wrong one, right? Wait, let's test something, if I go 2008 and Essendon, no, you can, you have to get them all right, that's interesting. Oh, I might skip that, I might skip that, 2008 was, uh, Hawthorne obviously won the flag, the Brownlow medalist in 2008 was Adam Cooney to everyone's surprise. Uh, Lance Franklin won the Coleman easily, so that one's easy. Uh, I might even just double back and start attacking from the other side. Essendon won the 2000 flag. Woe Woden was the surprise Brownlow medal winner. And Matty Lloyd must have been Coleman medalist. Yeah, he was. Yeah, that's right. Essendon was so good back then. 
Um, 2001, Brisbane won. I'm going to say Matty Lloyd probably won the comet again. Uh, and the Brownlow medalist in 01 was Akamanis. Matty Lloyd, boom, killing it. 2002, did Matty Lloyd do three in a row? Um, 2002, Brownlow medalist Simon Black. That was the first ever Brownlow I watched. Matty Lloyd. Oh, is that right? No, it must have, it must have been uh, David Neitz. I was going to say David Neitz. Brisbane won the flag. Simon Black and David Neitz. Yes, sweet. So, 2003, Brisbane won their three-peat. They had the three-way tie for the Brownlow that year. It was Goods, Buckley, and Rusciuto. And this is getting difficult for me. I'm going to say Lloyd. Yes, it was Matty Lloyd. All right. Oh, what? Why did... I didn't run out of time. I got 75%. That's probably fair because I did get a heap wrong. It probably just get, lets you get a certain amount wrong before it stops you. Okay, I didn't know that, but that's all right. I'll take it. 75%. Pretty good score. To be honest, I would have been guessing with those Coleman medals as well. Uh, Lance Franklin must have won in 09 as well. Um, oh, it's, no, it's, it was Brendan Favola. There you go. Interesting. Oh, well, you learn a little bit uh, every time you do one of these. So that was interesting. So yeah, thank you for uh, creating that. Peafish23, that was actually really fun. Um, if you like these videos, guys, let me know in the comments because I want to do more of this stuff, especially over the summer. Um, there's a little bit of time before we actually get some football. So I, f I find this stuff really fun. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Also, guys, if you're new to the True Footy YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate you hitting subscribe. And in particular, if there's any quizzes or tier makers or anything like that you want me to do, uh, make sure you hit me in those DMs or in the comment section. Obviously, won't be just doing these videos. I'm going to be doing some more videos. I want to go back to those team based videos I did last year with the music in the background and stuff like that. And of course, there is going to be even more True Footy podcasts going as the summer progresses. And we're going to get a few special guests on very soon. Soon. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all very soon somewhere on YouTube. Cheers.